like somebody that just be bodying and everything. All that talking is great, but I don't be talking. I air it out. All the problems have gotten easy to bury. I'd rather do them in. I'd rather kiss on my. I've been broke away longer than I've been rich, so until it levels out, I'ma take mama to the merry. I don't, I don't, I don't. Took me so long to get it, gonna spread it out. Let them know all about me when I'm dead and gone. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. Look at the cash, look at the cash, bubble. Look at the cash, bubble. One in the hand, one in the hand. I'ma need all the fries you can give me, all the hot sauce, all the pie you can give me. Better be all in that, you don't have me in the middle. You better be all you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super fly for the Dumbo, plenty slides like a shuffle. Hit the cages on my young boy. Eyes are caged in the ocean, but the old old with the cane stick. Let my slippers at the function. It's hard to run the Gucci slides. That bitch you said you didn't have us. I'ma step no. Jackie Chan, no travel. Can't clean it with the beads. Dripping from the. No, no, not me. I can never be the one you wanna stuff for. Money, money, that machine. The bell got my soul. All right, people, times that I was broke. Acting like a 9/11, folks. Mad black, licking clean. Dead faces in it, I'm a low. Cooking up canard. Waiting for the antidote. Running out of time. Pictures in it, in the penny hole. Don't be in a few parts. I don't do that. In my prison, you know what I tell you. Get over here. You're gonna get that. <laughs> One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. Look at the cash, look at the cash, bubble. Look at the cash, bubble. One in the hand, one in the hand, one in the hand, one in the bag, bubble. Look at the cash, look at the cash, bubble. Look at the cash, bubble. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is taken about seven yards deep fights him off and here now is spin spinning again Now a handoff looking right. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Let's go, let's go. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball.
This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Tannehill. The open man is short. It's complete. And out across midfield down to the 45. A good pick up there. 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now they'll run it on the toss. The tackle there by Eli Harold. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They'll fake the handoff. Now Tannehill. He'll buy some time right. It's caught. Stills right side. Give him 30 yards there. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Tannehill now to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Cameron Hayward able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And now running right through it. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! Hot! Hot! On first down, it's Rudolph. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A good pick up there, a 22. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. And let's see six defensive backs out there. They're in the dime here on third and goal. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Detroit! Detroit! Shotgun snap for Rudolph. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Cameron Wake in there to drop him for a six-yard loss. And that'll lead to a fourth down. And Boswell's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially open the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And out come the Dolphins now. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Now they'll run it on the toss. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. 
tough running there. That's a hard earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Here's Tannehill now on second down. Brought it over the middle by Grant. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now the former fourth-round pick. It's Kalen Balazs. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. To throw is Tannehill. Open man right side is Sharp. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter is starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it. Now the confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football, but you do say, guess what? We can throw it. We can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. players blitzing all the time I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit what a running start right back to the backfield for him yeah it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him no I mean that's really really difficult you're asking a whole lot anyway but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. Sanders' kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. That's fielded in the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. 
I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that, wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Xavier and Howard up to make the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Detroit! Detroit! Hot. On second down, here's Rudolph. On the left side, it's McDonald. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down seems like this defense especially the secondary has really been contesting about every throw in this first half remind me of a good half court defensive basketball team every time a pass is thrown they're right there and gets the good defensive position able to affect the play here now is second and ten again from the 41 all right here we go Back to the air, Rudolph on second down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Play action. It's Rudolph. Over the middle. That's caught by Ross. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. out incomplete So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll go back to the ground with Bell. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And this is no good. Close but no cigar. Just wide right. So we've reached halftime here. And it's the visiting Dolphins taking a lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Dolphins in front. And they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. 
The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, we do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to fire one deep over. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They give him a gain of 38. Now they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep, find some space, and open things up again. Being aggressive there, I think, will pay off for them. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Rudolph now on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. This is Bell on the dump off. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Call it a one-yard gain on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Gone, 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 gone. Now Rudolph on first down. And he's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Back to throw, Rudolph. Looking for the end zone. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Detroit, Great communication, Detroit. doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. This quarterback now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. All right, here we go. Three, nineteen. Three, nineteen. The give is to Bell. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. 
Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Rudolph throwing on second down. This will be caught in the back of five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. the key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Stephon Tewitt, the one that got him down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. The linebacker, Ryan Shazier, there to make the tackle. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Back to throw, Tannehill. And he finds Stills, complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Off play action, Tannehill. And some space here. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Tannehill able to take off and pick up the first as well. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Tannehill forced out to his left. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Back now in Pittsburgh. Here's Matt Hawk now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. 
This is fielded at the seven. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, remember. and move on to the next series. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. He was looking for John Ross that time. And that takes us from second to third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third gun, and gun, six. Gun, gun! Detroit! Detroit! Out of the gun, Rudolph. Open man, Smith Schuster. It's complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And a key number on that play three. Third play of the drive, third down spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. This quarterback now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. A give to Bell. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Rudolph. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here comes a first down throw for Rudolph. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. Here's Rudolph off play action. 
He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer and is one that drives coaches and teammates insane. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. And they'll run it here. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games. And at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers. Fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense. And this offensive line is really hunkered down and established himself. And this man hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. And he'll be taken down at the 34. A we'll tackle that time by Akella Witherspoon. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Buying time to his left. Looking left side of his guy to man. That's Bell. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one goes for 24 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. A looming decision to make on the conversion, the down drive, seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now Bell. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Now, that was a terrific play. We're down here near the goal line, and only one word comes to mind for me, and that's overwhelm, because they absolutely overwhelmed the offensive line. He came free and made the hit in the backfield. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion oh, man, after this. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Rudolph looking to throw it. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Rashad Jones. And a short return to the six-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. They'll begin here with Blunt. And he will take this up to about the 8-yard line. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll run again with Blunt. And fights through one man. Blunt rumbling with a first down and more. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in the game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Again, here's Blunt. 
And he'll take this one up to about the 13. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. As he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. Here's Matt Hawk now, standing just about on his own goal line. Gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. And he powers his way up past the 30. The safety, Rashad Jones, brings him down. No timeout. You got to go quick here. second down now they're likely down to their final two plays and you know they've got to keep going for the big shot right so defensively you play what they call top down nothing behind you make everything get completed in front and the Steelers on third down they've hit at 50 percent three and six to this point this will be third and five Shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. So another big shot dodged there defensively. Now they're just one more incompletion away from salting away this victory. And I know this feeling. They're almost giddy, but they have to stay focused and locked in. They can make one big mistake and throw it all away. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Detroit! Detroit! As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it's looking like the Dolphins are going to win the football game. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is... Do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Tannehill to a knee, and that ought to be the final act of this ball game. 
And with that kneel down at the end of the game, partner, they now get to three and one. This is a good football team we saw in this game. It is indeed getting to two games above 500. And I know early on, while they said they wanted to win every game, they thought they would be solid with a three and one start. And here they are. Yeah, you break your schedule up almost into quarters. Every four games in assess, three and one, any team would take that. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? you I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So for the Dolphins, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll return home next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for Pittsburgh, they're going to fall to 3-1 and one as they suffer their first loss. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports.